The Bolivian Ram isn't like most cichlids. They're pretty peaceful. I find them to be incredibly social. They're not schooling fish, but I do see they like to hang out in groups from time to time. They're not incredibly picky eaters either. They'll eat most anything from microorganisms to flakes to pellet food, and watching them eat is pretty fascinating also. They have this way of moving that is unique to most fish. They have a stop and go type of swimming style where they move across the substrate and then suddenly stop. And they do this repeatedly in short bursts, which is very fascinating to watch. The Bolivian ram has those signature markings with the black stripe across its eye and several more throughout the rest of its body. Its cheek has a yellow hue to it and it kind of fades away as you progress through the rest of the body where it turns more gray and brown. And there's also hues of red throughout its finnage that really just makes the Bolivian Ram pop. It spends most of its time at the lower level of the tank. So this is a bottom dwelling fish, but he'll occasionally go up to the mid and top levels if something piques his interest. My favorite thing about this fish is how incredibly hardy they are, especially in comparison to other ram cichlids. While they prefer slightly acidic and softer water, they're able to withstand a much wider range of parameters. They currently live in a 75 gallon tank with a pH of 6.8 and a temperature of 78 degrees. And I find that they seem to be very happy within those parameters. While the Bolivian rams are pretty peaceful, you can still see the occasional bickering or territorial disputes whenever one Bolivian ram hangs out a little too long in someone else's territory. This is generally no more than a gentle nudge or a peaceful push, but on occasion it could be a little more assertive. They eat by constantly picking at the substrate, looking for microorganisms or other food that has fallen to the bottom, which is why it's important to have a sand substrate if you want to keep the Bolivian ram. While the Bolivian ram can be slightly territorial with its own kind, it doesn't seem to mind the company of other bottom-dwelling fish, like Corydoras or Pandagoras.
I don't know what it is, but there's just something about this fish that I find incredibly remarkable. They're extremely intelligent, very social, and they'll even observe you outside of the tank. Stay tuned for more Dirty Tank Originals. Until next time, guys.